here's a surprise pickup for me, the Union LA Jordan 4 in the taupe haze colorway. I know it's about a year and a half since these have been released, but I wanted to do a review and also take the opportunity to talk about the state of Union LA and why I am hoping this brand can bounce back as the premier Jordan collaborator for 2023 starting with their upcoming release later at the end of this month. And we'll talk about that shoe later in this video, but first let's talk about these. In 2021, one of the shoes I fell in love with was this one, uh, and I could not secure it. These came from the second batch of their Jordan 4 series, which was an overall success. I think a lot of people liked the first uh, release of these, these sneakers and this design, and this taupe haze is similar to the guava ice in that it was the union la exclusive colorway so this one between this one and the desert moss this one was harder to get now if you go back on my channel in 2020 the off noir jordan 4 union la collaboration was my sneaker of the year i absolutely love the design i love the color blocking that union la is known for the materials the construction the marketing for the release there was just a lot of hype and you know, a lot of people wanted these shoes and I was lucky enough to get that pair. Before the release, I think these shoes were going for over a thousand dollars. There was a lot of hype, there was a lot of resellers, there was a lot of people who just wanted this shoe uh, because it was just, you know, one of the most important drops for that year. And unfortunately, the overwhelming attention created, I think, a really difficult problem for Union LA considering these were a limited shoe. There weren't a lot made, and eventually it led to, I think, a really disappointing decision by Union LA to make these a raffle release. Long story short, I took an L and I couldn't get these in 2021. Fast forward 18 or so months, we've seen the market dip significantly, and now these sneakers have dropped from $800, $900 to now around $400 to $500, and I was able to pick them up for even less than that 400 mark. And so knowing where they were and how much I wanted them before, it was a really a no brainer for me to pick these up. I had an opportunity to pick these up for a really great price. And so I'm glad that I now have them in hand. So diving into this sneaker, my favorite feature of this shoe is this suede upper. They're calling it topaz. I think it is a beautiful neutral gray. I'm a big fan of um, gray on sneakers. Uh, but I also just love uh, the different components on the upper. The mesh underlay, the, the netting on the sides, which is a cream colored. It's really, really beautiful, and I just love the combination of materials that they chose on this shoe. Really elegant and interesting to look at. It has a nice feel as well. It's very durable, and it feels premium. The suede is very soft, the mesh is very thick, and uh, the netting also is just well placed on this Jordan 4. But one thing that stands out for me about this shoe is the overall construction. Whichever factory that put this shoe together really put a lot of effort and attention to detail into the making of this shoe. And it's all those little details, like the lining up of the panels, like the stitching that's that's really well done on this sneaker. Uh, no glue stains. It's, it's rare to find a mass produced sneaker kind of in this really nice state. And so that elevates the sneaker in my mind overall because it just feels like a lot of effort went into it. Then you get this signature union color philosophy or aesthetic with the use of the teal, with the light baby blue, with the gray, with the cream slash off-white color combination. Uh, I really do love the playful, almost like, you know, twist that Union LA has on most of their collaborations. For example, look at the wings. I just love the fact that it is this clear, a translucent wing on the upper portion of the sneaker, but then you, all, you get this light green, um, on the bottom. And then, you know, speaking of the heel tab right here, 
which comes with the coveted Nike Air branding in that matching teal. It just looks like a really energetic, fun sneaker, which I've always appreciated. You also get the unique folded tongue with exposed inner stitching that says Air Jordan. Now it's now people can see it, which is how Chris Gibbs liked wearing his Jordan 4s when he was younger. I really like that element of it, and I think it's what makes this overall collaboration unique. Inside the shoe, you get baby blue sock liner, a golden polyurethane insole, patterned laces in both gray and blue, which is a nice touch. And all of this is built on an off-white midsole with exposed air unit that has that baby blue matching inside the unit. And the Jordan 4 outsole might be my favorite outsole of all time. I really enjoy the look of this sneaker, the feel of this sneaker. It's such a cool sneaker. It checks off everything that I want in a sneaker, the heritage, the color, the quality, the construction especially and the unique element found on the folded tongue detail. At the end of this month, we are getting a shoe from Union LA that is surprising to a lot of people. It's a Jordan 1 Low KO. Uh, and the most interesting aspect of the shoe is the swoosh that is Velcroed to the lateral side and underneath hides Union LA pattern, uh, their branding. And because I am such a huge fan of the Union 1s and 4s, my first reaction to this was like, where is like the signature color blocking that they're known for, or, or like the fun conceptual like design. These are very, very clean for what they are. And the fact that it's a collaboration also like, man, like, it's, it, you know, my knee jerk is, it, was this like too simple? Was this like a missed opportunity? I'm still learning about the story. So I'm excited to learn more about what they're bringing here early in 2023. But I've also heard rumors that they're bringing back a Jordan 1 collaboration. And I think for most of us, we're probably a little bit more excited to see what's happening there. But it's just rumors, it could not be true. Just a year ago, it felt like Union LA was one of those special brands that released can't miss collaborations, extremely hyped shoes. But I think they're still exploring and I think this release shows their desire to, you know, do something new. Uh, whether it's really hyped up or not, they wanna do, um, these interesting concepts on sneakers, which I respect a lot. Are you confident in this upcoming collaboration? Is it something that you're looking at as a must cop here in January? Or do you feel like the hype and the attention and sort of uh, what Union LA has built in terms of their reputation and uh, and their you know collaborative status, has that sort of changed for you over the last year? I'd love to know. Let me know what you think. So let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.